you want to learn about the new interesting features of Revit 2024.1 update, watch this video. This is Saad with Build Informed, where we have helped several clients throughout Europe with all their BIM needs since 2015 and completed over 1 million square meters of building information models. There have been a few aesthetic changes to the dark theme. In the home screen, a number of icons and home thumbnail have been modified. Also, the icons of the precast ribbon have been updated. For the property palette, an updated number picker control and highlighting color. Whether it's the project browser or the properties palette, by holding down the control button, hovering over the palette and using the mouse scroll, you can zoom in for better reading or zoom out to fit in more lines. For easier navigation, you can use the up and down buttons to go through the different lines and options while the right and left buttons can be used to expand and collapse. Fill patterns, used, created, edited or even default ones can now be exported and or imported from or to projects as a separate .pat file, allowing the file to be open and edited as a text if required. Text alignment can now be performed for several selected annotated text boxes at the same time, rather than one at a time. In creating area plans, the area boundaries parameter has been included in the Revit.ini file, making it possible to set a preference for all default actions regarding the area rules. This also allows Revit to remember your latest setting and make it the new default, or allows you to edit the .ini file yourself for the default setting. Now you can see what a particular element will look like in different visual styles via the Type Properties Viewer dialog using the Visual Style icon. The Topo Solid family has replaced the Topo Surface in Revit 2024, allowing for the creation of plots with more options. Check out our video linked in the description for more on that. However, in this update, a new functionality was added. After selecting the created topo solid, you have the option to reduce the number of points using the simplify topo solid. The lower the input percentage, the lower the number of points. New categories have been added to the select all instances functionalities in the 2023.1 update. However, the 2024.1 update includes the topo solid subdivisions, allowing you to apply changes to several of them at the same time. Another new feature when it comes to selection is the ability to chain select split lines. Now you can assign a particular height to them with references to different initial level options. Rebar segment lengths can now be edited by numeric input in 3D and 2D views as well as the previous option of inputting in the properties palette based on the rebar shape family definition. With a few extra clicks, you can decide where and how to position the multi-rebar align dimension. Tapping the spacebar toggles between horizontal and vertical alignments. Tags and dimensions will now snap to similar objects. The split with gap tool now works with linear structural elements such as columns and beams, be it steel or concrete. The MEP families have seen additional elements. The 2024.1 update has received two out-of-the-box new duct stiffener members that can be accessed from the Load Autodesk Family icon under the Insert tab. Here is a list of additional performance enhancements that have been addressed in this new release. Feel free to pause the screen and take a look at them. I hope you found this helpful. Please follow the link in the description to find out more about Build Inform via our website or click on these videos to either see some of the cool stuff we're up to or watch our video on Revit 2024 if you haven't already. If such content is helpful for you, feel free to subscribe as we'll be releasing videos about Revit, BIM workflows and what's new in the industry. If you have any questions or suggestions for our next video, feel free to reach out in the comment section. Have a great and productive day.